Hey guys and gals, um, Love to Fly Helis here. Uh, I did a video quite some time back about building your own servo leads, <clears throat> and uh, I've learned a few things since then too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a recap here. This is mainly for my friend Derek. Uh, he's uh, got some questions on on parts of this. So I'm just gonna kind of go over this again real quick and do a new one because there are some couple little things that I've realized uh, that I have to do different since the first time I made some. So. Uh, we're going to show you what all you need here and how to how to put them together right quick. So let me show you what we got. Okay. Uh, stuff you're going to need, your wire, of course. I buy mine from Tower Hobbies. It's a 50-foot roll. This is a high-tech brand. Uh, it's heavy-duty 20-gauge. Uh, they make they have 22-gauge also, but I use the heavy heavier gauge so it will carry more amperage and more load. Um, <clears throat> the tips, you can get most hobby shops I buy mine off eBay uh, you can get them all different colors black yellow green blue red whatever um, your female tip will just be this little piece right here it's got the little tabs on the top piece of it your male end will actually be a female end with a cap over it that protects the pins <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I've been sick all week um, and then it they come with your, of course these are, are your little male pins right here, and the female ends are the little square where the pins go into, and you've got the little wire clips on the end of them. One thing that I learned from the beginning of doing these, um, I used to uh, strip my wire back and lay it in here. Let me get a piece of this pulled back. and I would stick it in there and crimp the wire with both of those tabs the long one and the short one uh, which is what I'm talking about here's here's the little short one right here that actually needs to crimp on the wire itself this longer one back here needs to crimp around the rubber shield on the wire I didn't know that at the beginning I just crimped both of these on the wire I had some pull loose so I'm going to show you how to do this right and make sure you get the wire uh, covering inside this right here okay um, <clears throat> there's three different well pretty much three different types there's Futaba Futaba wires are going to be black red and white uh, high tech is going to be black red and yellow JR is going to be brown red and yellow it all comes out the same you have a dark wire on one side a light wire on the other uh, your dark colored wire be it brown or black is going to be your ground wire so you just main thing is to make sure you get those on the right side. If you're not sure, like on a, a female end, the light color with the tabs pointing up, and the tabs being these little things here that I'm talking about, with the tabs pointing up, your light wire will go to the left side. So it's always white, red always goes to the center. White, red, black. Or, you know, if it was uh, JR, it'd be orange, red, brown. But anyway, just make sure of that. Then when you do the male end, it's just the opposite. Uh, you can't see the tabs because it's underneath here, but uh, the white will go to the right side. In other words, when you wrap that around and make a loop out of it, both white wires need to be on the same side or it's not going to work. So that's the only thing you got to really be careful of when you're doing this. Um, okay, uh, I take, let me zoom this in just a little bit more here. I uh, I just take a razor knife very carefully, split my wires, and then you'll have to pull them down, oh about a half inch or an inch, to spread these out to get enough room to work there. Okay, then take your wire strippers. Uh, that's a nice little pair of wire strippers you're gonna have to have, and. Uh, strip off about two to three, about three millimeters is all you need. And before I was stripping more than that, like I said, and I was crimping them with both of the clamp crimps on the end and it was coming loose. You want that last one to crimp around this plastic so it holds tight. So then what I do is I, uh, I get it in here and I make sure that my rubber coating is going to 
being that outside deal to so to hold it in place I take the tips of my strippers and I just gently squeeze that back one against the, the plastic coating of the wire and you can see right here where I've got that on the coating itself now this will crimp into that deal All right now you take your crimping pliers uh, you can buy these at most hobby shops too. I buy them online and it's uh, crimps your tips. Now, um, let's see if I can get around here. I'm going to stick that up in that little groove right here. Uh, the first groove fits these. Make sure it lines up and then gently give it a squeeze. That's your first crimp. That will start the crimp on this and it will start that rolling around your your coating and on this now you do a final crimp you use this end of this uh, almost like a plier the, the flat part you want to grab it right there keep it parallel and flush crimp it on down where it's nice and tight and now see that one kind of rolled out just a little bit so what I'm gonna have to do every now and then they'll do that uh, you just have to kind of go back and Squish it back down to make sure it's tight and flat down on your wire. Now, here's the problem. This this end back here is flattened out, so it's going to be too wide to fit up in your tip. So what you have to do is take either pair of them and go sideways on this and just gently squeeze that back in toward the center so it kind of rounds it out a little bit more then when you go to put this in your tip now remember this is the female end we're doing so the light color goes to the outside or to the left side I mean not outside and I got a little bit of a bend right here I need to fix generally these go together real simple and they don't twist up on you I kinda bent that one but anyway we'll stick that in there now it's hard to get pushed all the way up in there so here's what I'm gonna do let me get a little bitty a little tiny flathead screwdriver I mean tiny tiny and I use that you can kinda of get a hold of it right here and feed it up a little ways or you can get in behind it right here and push against that metal be careful not to stab yourself in the hand in the fingers it hurts but you want to push that all the way up in there that's how I get the female ends now if you will look I don't know if you can see inside there but the metal is up flush with the front of this hole and then the little tab snaps down behind that little there's a little flat hole in the metal part you want that tab to fit inside that so this doesn't pull back out so you can't pull it out now so let's go ahead and do the others right quick same thing make sure the rubber part is in the little wings there and I'm going to just kind of squeeze that up just enough to hold it's all I'm doing I'm not trying to fold it over I'm just trying to hold it in place so I can get my crimping pliers on it okay put it in there first crimp and we'll back up make sure it's square flatten it out I think same one roll that on me again it doesn't usually do that but there I got it pinched back down now I need to flatten out this one or squish it back toward the middle so it's kind of round and there again this goes to the middle with your tabs facing up so usually I put all three of these on first and then stuff them up and now that one went all the way in see and it that little tab snapped in and that won't pull back out you have to pry that up out of the way to get it pulled back out okay one more here on this one get my little wings folded in just to hold it in place that way it'll stay on there while I put these on down back up at the flat spot now that one rolled in perfect like it's supposed to uh, all I need to do now is just kinda squish this part back toward the center to round it up a little bit and now you can see how round that is and it'll it'll go up in here so let's pull that one 
that one went all the way in also. If they if you don't do that, they won't go in very well. Anyway, there's a, there's your female end right there. It's all done. And to get it off, you'd have to take that little bit of screwdriver or something and pry those little tabs up to pull this back off of here. So now, let me show you how to do the male end right quick. And it's it's basically the same thing, except your colors are on the opposite side. Pull my wires apart. Ah, kind of stiff there. Get that down. All right, got about an inch or so. Now this time I'm going to go ahead and, and just strip all three of these to begin with. Be done with it. Um, just about three millimeters, two to three millimeters is all you need off the end of this. Don't take very much. And you can kind of twist the ends up a little bit so they don't fray on you when you're trying to put the tips on. Um, okay, now we have the male ends. Doesn't matter which one you start with to put it on here, it just matters when you put the tip on. Same thing, I start my little squish on those little long wings to hold it in place so I can get it in my crimping pliers without it falling off or moving on me. Okay, that one, that one laid down absolutely perfect. See how it squished. Now the wide part back here at the end, I need to kind of squish that back in and round it round it up just a little bit. Now we'll just go ahead and do all three of these tips before I put them in there. So, alright. Take those, flatten that out, get it in the crimping pliers. That one flattened out good. Now we'll round that last part back up a little. There we go. It doesn't take much, just a tiny, tiny bit to, to round that back out so it'll fit up in your plastic housing. But if you don't, you're going to have fun. Oops, dropped my pliers. Hang on. If you don't do that, you're going to have fun uh, trying to push it up in there. It gets in a bind. It won't hardly go. Okay. Pull them back out of the way. Get it in my crimping pliers. Crimp her down. First crimp. Second crimp. Round that. Squish that back in. There we go. They're all nice and rounded and pinched good. Now, see that? That's pinched down good now on that, that coating uh, of the wiring. So that will hold it. It keeps that from pulling out. But like I said before, when I first started making these, I was just stripping it all the way back and crimping this on uh, the wire itself but it, it was slipping loose as I was plugging them and unplugging them over time they were coming loose and I had a short in one of them almost lost my Yak 54 because of it so be sure you crimp the the last uh, little wings there onto the wire housing itself so it will hold it good and tight alright now uh, these are just the opposite and you can you can turn this around and see how it goes so we want the yellow on the right side as far as the tabs facing up on this one. Nope. I, I got, see how easy it is to get backwards? I think I got it backwards right there. Hang on a minute. Let me pull that back out of there. I lose track myself these things okay here's how you can do this you can butt your two tips together like that and that'll tell you where it so the yeah the yellow one needs to go on the right side I had it right I was just kind of confused in my head there for a second red always goes in the middle and if you crimp them just right most of them will just poke right up in there without any trouble if they kind of hang on these by chance, just take the end of your strippers or a little pair of needle nose and get a hold of this tip and gently pull it. Don't squeeze it hard to dent it, you know, cave it in or anything, but you can pull those. And that way, they pull them all the way up and they snap into that deal. All right, now, if I roll this over yellow to yellow, they should match. You have a beveled corner on this and that's to fit in your receiver you see that little beveled corner you got to make sure that those come out the same 
these both do. So when I plug that together, I got yellow to yellow, red to red, and black to black. Now, on the male end, you have the cover that goes on it. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can get it where you can see it. Inside there, see those little three little tabs? They are closer to one end. They're up here on this end. Those need to go on the top where your tabs are and to the back. So make sure you've got those tabs on top of this fitting here and toward the back. In other words, they snap into these little grooves right here. So when you push that on there, there, it snaps on. That makes your male in, and that's the safety cover, and then your pins are inside there, see, and that protects those. So this is actually a male end. Female end is on this end, but this is actually a male. It has the pins in it. It just has this sleeve over it. Well, there you go. Now you've got a, there I've got a six inch uh, lead. Perfect. And when you turn it over and plug it into each other, the wires are all the same. That's the main thing. Make sure you get your color code the right direction. If you don't, you go to plug this into an airplane and you get it backwards, the polarity is going to be wrong and it won't work. So anyway, hope that helped you out, Derek, and uh, anybody else that's interested, but that's how you make a servo lead. Uh, like I say, the most important thing is to make sure you crimp that, that first little uh, tab of wings there over the plastic itself to hold it. And uh, that's how easy it is, man. All right, thanks for watching.